It just keeps happening, chat. It just keeps fucking happening. I'm sure a lot of you guys saw my stream from yesterday. And those of you guys who maybe don't catch the streams, but you watch the video highlights that I upload later on. It just keeps happening. Some of you guys may have seen that we did some recent coverage of people either getting seriously injured or killed because of very harmless mistakes. We obviously covered the situation involving a 16 year old boy who got shot for ringing the wrong doorbell, right? We covered that situation. Unfortunately, there was a woman who got killed, shot and killed for pulling into the wrong driveway. And now we have this situation here where a Texas, uh, Texas cheerleaders got shot for trying to get into the wrong car. I, I, I swear, like, it seems like we live in a society where now it's shoot first and ask questions later, right? There's no clarification of like, hey, I don't know who you are. Why are you ringing on my doorbell? Or I don't know who you are. Why are you pulling into my driveway? Or who the fuck are you and why are you trying to get into my car? It's none of that. It's just shoot to fucking kill, chat. We have a situation here, as I stated before, this is by WGN News, Texas cheerleader shot after one says she got in the wrong car. Now, if I had to guess, this is probably some cheerleading event of some kind or some sporting event where the cheerleaders were present and they were leaving the event with friends and in the process of trying to figure out, you know, what friend's car you get into or whatever, they got into the wrong car. And instead of like, Whoever's responsible for the shooting trying to figure out, hey, why is this person getting into this car that they don't belong in? Instead of trying to sort out what the fuck happened, it's just like, let's just shoot them, chat. Like that, that's just, that's just what they resorted to. So let's go ahead and let's dive into this story. So without further ado, pa, 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 pa. play that shit. Here we go. The third time this week, another young person was shot because of a mistake. No one. Third time this week. Third time in one week that someone's life has been endangered over a mistake. The kind of mistake that anyone can make. The kind of mistake that is extremely harmless. The kind of mistake that could easily be resolved by having a simple conversation. But no, conversations were not had. Instead, people got shot and in one case someone got killed over something that could have been resolved very, very easily. This one in Texas involved high school cheerleaders. A group of girls were on their way home from practice when they stopped at a grocery store where one of them had parked her car. She mistakenly opened the door to a car she thought was hers. A man identified as 25-year-old Pedro Rodriguez Jr. got out with a gun and just started shooting. One of the girls... Holy shit. Like, I can imagine it's probably pretty alarming, right? It's probably pretty damn alarming to have somebody walk up to your car and try to get in, right? And it's probably like confusing. Like, what the hell is going on? Why is this person trying to get into my car? Like, you, this is not your car. Like, what are you doing, right? Maybe they had similar cars or, you know, whatever the case may be. But there was obviously some confusion. Some confusion that could have easily been resolved. As I said before, I sound like a broken record. But it easily could have been resolved by having a simple conversation. Hey, man. Uh, this is not your car. This is my car. Could you please step away from my car? Right? But no. Just open fire. What the fuck? Girls was flown by helicopter to a hospital in critical condition. Another was treated at the scene. Rodriguez was arrested and charged with felony deadly conduct. No wonder. Like, like obviously, that would be the response in regards to somebody who shoots someone over a harmless fucking mistake. Like, holy shit. That was kind of a shorter video. Let me see if I can find another video that has a little bit more details on this situation because Jesus Christ, this is just unfucking believable All right, shall we have another video on this situation? Let's dive into this one. First tonight, a man in custody for allegedly shooting a couple of cheerleaders near Austin. They were on their way back from training right here in the Houston area. Two of the cheerleaders were injured, one of them considered to be a star in the sport. Jason Miles is live from Oak Ridge North where a vigil is planned tonight. Jason. That's right, a vigil here will be in person and virtual, partly because the most seriously injured cheerleader's reputation is so widespread. The Woodlands Elite Cheer Company's flagship facility attracts athletes from far and wide. So this is another situation where like somebody is like shot and like, thank God they survived, right? 
Thank God they survived. Much like the kid who was shot for ringing the wrong doorbell, they survived. This is like a fucking like miracle. But the escalation that got it to this point, like I just do people not even like try to clarify misunderstandings or mistakes before they act like I've said this in the previous videos where I covered the situation. I'm not the type of person who's going to advocate for like the total banning of like firearms and stuff like that. I've said before that I see the value in like gun ownership for like home defense and stuff like that. Uh, but having said that, like there are clearly people who probably shouldn't be able to own a gun. And this is like a prime example of that. These people who are jumping to like worst case fucking scenario and fucking shooting someone over what? Nothing like nothing in this situation or the prior situation I covered with like the teenage boy who got shot or the woman who got shot and killed for basically showing up to the wrong house. There's no justification whatsoever for this gross overreaction. And Peyton Washington is said to be one of the best. She's the, really a huge face in, in the all-star cheerleading world. She's a mentor, mentor and a role model to so many kids in this industry. She's an amazing athlete, amazing kid. Last night, Washington and these three other cheerleaders from the Austin area drove back from Oak Ridge North to a carpool. Uh, Corey Devil in the chat says, I feel like most of these people have been waiting their whole life to finally use their gun on someone. I don't want to jump to that conclusion. I really don't because we don't know what's going through the heads of these people. I think the only thing we can agree on is the way they reacted to these situations is just unacceptable, right? This is not responsible gun ownership. That's the biggest problem with a lot of these situations is like, because of situations like this, you have people who want to ban firearms from responsible gun owners who actually are responsible with their firearms, right? Because of people like this who aren't responsible with their firearms. I mean, you're literally shooting and in at least one case, killing someone over literally nothing. These people are fucking innocent. They've done nothing wrong and they got shot and in one case killed over nothing. Absolutely nothing. Meeting spot in an Elgin, Texas, HEB parking lot. This is an image from Google Maps. We're told one of the girls may have mistaken a man's car for her own. From what we understand, the guy got out. Uh, she jumped back in her car, rolled down the window, went to apologize and say, I'm sorry, I thought this was my car. And they saw that he had a gun. Elgin police announced this morning that. So she even, hold on, she even apologized for the mistake. If what we're being told is true, she apologized for the mistake and still got shot? This is fucking clown world, chat. What the fuck is happening? I don't know. 25-year-old Pedro Rodriguez Jr. is charged with deadly conduct while their investigation continues, saying the shooting happened after some sort of altercation. It's a very, very sad day for us today. Woodland's Cheer is among those sharing a GoFundMe page, raising money for Washington's recovery. She's set to join Baylor University's acrobatics and tumbling team later this year on a scholarship. That team also tweeted well wishes this afternoon. So everybody knows her and everybody's praying for her and um, we're doing the same. Amazingly, Washington has accomplished all of her athletic achievements with just one lung, a condition that has not kept her on the ground. And at last check, Washington was still in ICU at an Austin area hospital. The second cheerleader who was shot was treated on the scene last night and released. Reporting live from Oak Ridge North, Jason Miles, KHOU 11 News. Hoping for a full recovery. Thank you. Houston. So there goes that. Like, honestly, like, I don't know what the solution is for problems like this. I don't even think there is necessarily a solution for problems like this. But this shit is fucking insane. Like literally fucking insane. I am all in favor for responsible gun owners owning firearms. And I'm 100% in favor of people using those firearms to defend themselves and their personal property. Okay. But when it comes to this, when it comes to mistakes like this, where people are literally engaging in harmless mistakes that could be easily resolved with a simple conversation and they're being shot and having their lives put at risk. And as I said before, in one case, someone did lose their life because of one of these harmless mistakes. Something is seriously wrong. Holy shit.